impressive is that? You know what's even more impressive? Those are all breast cancer survivors from Kentucky, proving they really can do anything. A dragon boat team called the Kentucky Thoroughbreasts is getting ready to travel to Italy to take part in the International Breast Cancer Survivor Dragon Boat Festival. And here to tell us about the upcoming trip and their team, our team members, Colleen Murray, Sherry DeWald, and Amy McKinney. Good to see you all. Thank Welcome. You, thank you. Colleen, thank you so much for emailing us to You're tell welcome. us about your upcoming trip. Um, what exactly is a dragon boat, and how did you all get involved in the thoroughbreasts? So the dragon boat is basically a canoe that can seat up to 20 people. We have two, rows, or two people per row, mm -hmm. and then we have a person in the front called our drummer that sits with a big drum right in front of them, yeah. and they beat it, and that keep their cadence for us. And then we have a steers person in the back of the boat that basically makes sure we stay on track and stay in a straight line going down the crease course. Did any of you ever see yourselves doing a sport like this? Never. No. Never dreamed it. <laughs> no? <laughs> no. So, so um, first of all, Colleen, I, I want to ask you, because in your email, you talked about having breast cancer mm -hmm. and chemo and surgeries. Mm -hmm. And going to your first day of dragon boat practice, what was it like for you that first day? It was the week I turned 40. So, I mean, you know, I played sports in my past, um, but I had already gone through, I was two years out from having my reconstruction surgery, three years out from finishing the hard chemo that I had yeah. and the double mastectomy. And I go there and I'm one of the youngest in the group. So I think, okay, <laughs> I can do this. <laughs> um, we had, you know, we range in what, 50s, 60s, 70s. We actually had an 80 year old out there. Yeah. And so they put us newbies on the back of the boat so we, can, we don't mess up them with our stroke because we can't keep up. And um, I just remember sitting there halfway through practice thinking, oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm gonna make this. <laughs> Amy, is it really hard? <laughs> it is. When you first get started? <clears throat> it sure is. How, how long have you been doing it? Um, this is my eighth year. Um, and uh, at the start of the season, it's never any easier. You know, uh, every year you end the season thinking I'm going yeah. to do better about keeping in shape over the winter months. And uh, how does it make you feel about yourself to do this, though? Um, very proud of myself. Yeah, this is uh, way out of my comfort zone, and uh, but I've really found my place on the team and enjoy every minute of it. And Sherry, tell me about the upcoming trip. What is going to happen in Italy? What are you guys going to be doing there? We're going to be racing. Um, I believe there's 125 teams from 100, 17 100. different countries. All breast cancer survivors. Yep, all yes. breast cancers. This is our Olympics mm -hmm. because dragon boating is the only one that has a breast cancer division. Wow. And it only happens once every four years. What's it mean to be around other women who have survived like you have? <coughs> I think it's empowering because we've all we've all fought the same war but different pa but mm -hmm. different battles, and you can talk to each other. You know, I. For instance, I had trouble with the tamoxifen. Everybody else, you know, oh no, this was the easy part, this was mm -hmm. the hard part for me. So they understand what you're talking about. Well, ladies, I want to wish you all the best. Will you let us know how you do yes, at the definitely. International Dragon mm -hmm. Boat Festival? Yes. All right, good luck. We're all behind you. Thank you. Kentucky Thank you. Thoroughbreds, and we'll let you know how they do. Good day, maybe, to be on the water, Tara. <laughs>